Good question, Jerry. I want to make a couple of comments. The passage that you referenced in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 has to be balanced with what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. There he says that if a woman prays or prophesies, she should have her head covered. Well, if Paul means that women should always be silent in the church, why is he talking about women praying or prophesying? So we have to reconcile it with the other passage of Scripture. And of course, the Apostle Paul is not contradicting himself in the same book, mind you, because that also is in 1 Corinthians, uh, actually chapter 11, where the reference that you made is to chapter 14. I think the key here is the context. If you read in chapter 14, what you'll notice, the Apostle Paul is talking about judging prophecies. For example, he's saying that if somebody says they have a prophecy, there are those within the church who should judge that prophecy. Now, if a woman were to judge those kinds of prophecies, she would be, in effect, taking authority over a man, which Paul forbids. So the Apostle Paul says that women should be silent in the context that he's speaking, and they should ask their husbands at home, and they should not be the one making comments or judging prophecy. Now, think about this for a moment. When a woman stands up and reads scripture at the Moody Church or some other church, she in no way is taking authority over men. She is not instructing. She is only reading God's word as it is printed. And so that's why we think it's perfectly fine for a woman to read scripture. And uh, one other thing, have you ever thought of all the impact that women have had in the church, even publicly, perhaps behind the scenes? I'm reminded of the beautiful songs that we sing that were written by women. Take, for example, Fanny Crosby writing, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Now we read the theology of that song. It is excellent, it is biblical, we sing it, we are blessed, but that's all the uh, work of a woman. It's something that a woman wrote. But of course, we couldn't say that Fanny Crosby is trying to usurp authority over men, but what she has written is excellent, we sing it, and we thank God for it. So in all these things, we have to have a balanced approach when it comes to the role of women in the church. As you know, very complicated subject, and also a very controversial subject, but we have to find the balance of Scripture.